you live at the leading edge of thought where all thought that has ever been thought before is culminating and expressing further forward this is the leading edge of that which you call source and out here on the leading edge energy moves fast because the billions of you who are here living and asking and you do that don't you life causes you to know what you don't want which causes you to know what you do want so life just causes you to ask and ask and ask and ask and do you know every time you ask we're not just talking about with your words every time you are in some situation where it is not as you want it to be and asking emanates from you and in the moment of that asking source energy answers lines up circumstances and events and a rush of energy moves through a veritable vortex that creates worlds opens the energy moves quickly and instantaneously toward the fulfillment of everything you ask for the question is are you up to speed with that energy stream and in these days we want to say to you because the stream is moving so fast if you get a little out of alignment with it the results show up pretty big and pretty fast don't they in other words car that's going 100 miles an hour you're paying more attention than a car that's going five miles an hour and a car that's going 100 miles an hour and hits a tree much bigger problem than a car that's going five miles an hour and hits a tree well friends welcome to 100 mile an hour cars in other words these this is the time of fast energy which means this is the time of awakening this is the time of figuring out what you're doing with the energy you can't be sloppy with your thinking in an environment where energy is moving so fast you got to pay attention to your thoughts but that will make you crazy paying attention to your thoughts monitoring thoughts ah oh, you can't even control your kids <laughs> monitoring your thoughts is hopeless so don't monitor your thoughts just put your ear to the ground for the way you feel and set forth a determination that you want to feel good and that you're going to use the power of your mind your ability to focus to find better and better and better and better feeling thoughts now many of you have come to that decision long ago we heard your new year's resolutions many of you are determined to think more deliberately to be more deliberately to focus more on things that you want but the thing that is a little tricky about that is that when you're in the middle of something that you don't want and you can't just put a sack over your head you can't just withdraw from your work or withdraw from your relationship or send your children to a foster home in other words you can't just you can't just withdraw from where you are and it has your attention and what we want this gathering to help you re come to a resolution about is that your now environment is going to have less of your attention and where you're going and what you're wanting and how you're feeling is going to have more of your attention we want you to realize that when something is happening and you feel strong negative emotion that's not the time to try to find a bright happy fluffy thought because law of attraction is not dealing those out to you right now law of attraction cannot give you when your radio signal is set on 106 you can't hear what's being broadcast from 98.7 the frequencies are too far apart and when you're in because of what's been happening in your environment has you focused upon something gone wrong you can't immediately focus upon my life is perfect in every way partly because you've been trained to face reality and to tell it like it is but also because those frequencies are pretty far apart but if you will say I'm gonna to try to find something here that feels a little better and then from there you say I'm gonna to try to find something that feels a little better we've noticed that if something's happened and you really feel despair and one of your well-meaning friends comes in love and appreciation and tries to help you all you do is justify more vehemently why you feel like you do their happiness just makes you feel even more like a failure and their guidance just makes you feel even more like you'd like them to be dead in other words nothing's worse than to feel the opposite of who you are and how you want to feel and have some bright-eyed fluffy person flapping in your face about how you create your own reality <laughs> you want to say to them I'm sure that's not true or you would be gone from my experience 
But when you say, but when you understand that it's not your job, nor is it even possible to find a really good feeling thought from that bad feeling thought, if you're in despair, revenge feels pretty darn good, doesn't it? Now, many say, oh, we're in the wrong seminar. <laughs> thought we were going to hear about love. We just want you to realize that you can't find love from revenge. The frequencies are too far apart. But you can find from despair, you can find revenge and from revenge, you can find hatred and from hatred, you can find anger and from anger, you can find frustration and from frustration, you can find hope and from hope, you can find just about anything that you want. But there are some steps along the way. And we think that the reason so many people have given up on any awareness of what their emotions are telling them is because they have not understood the frequency of emotion. We want you to understand that before you came forth into this physical body, you were pure, positive, non-physical source energy. And even though you are now in this physical body, that the larger part of you is still pure, positive source energy. You call that part of you soul, but many physical humans have thought I am non-physical and I'm physical. And then hopefully I'll be non-physical again. But few really understand that you are a stream of energy. Some of which is focused in this body and all of which is intertwining with one another. In other words, the source within you has full awareness of you, but never goes with you to your negative thoughts. And that's why when you go to a negative thought, you feel bad because you have caused some sort of separation, too strong of word, some sort of resistance between who you really are and who you're letting yourself be in the moment. So when you realize that here you are, intentionally here as an extension of source energy deliberately wanting to explore the contrasts that surround you because you understood from your non-physical perspective that the contrast will inspire you leading edge genius creator not human here to catch up with that which God is an extension of that which God is taking God beyond that which is God has been before we don't use the word God very often because you've already made up your minds who God is and who you think God is God isn't But you are an extension of this supreme energy, this energy of all that is, this energy of goodness, this energy that experiences the no. You don't walk into a room and look for a dark switch ever, do you? <laughs> do you expect to flip a switch and make inky, misty darkness come into the room? Or do you just turn the resistor to resist some of the light? And we want you to understand that there is not a source of evil. There's just pinching off the stream of well-being. There's not a source of sickness. There's just not letting the wellness that naturally flows flow. And so when you begin to understand that you are an extension of source energy and that your relationship to this stream and your allowance of the stream flowing is indicated to you by emotion and that your emotions are indicators and that if you don't pay attention to the emotional indicator and do something about switching the thought to something that lets you be more who you are don't worry the indication will become more obvious in the form of physical sensation and if you still don't pay attention and do something about coming back into alignment don't worry the disalignment the resistance will then give you evidence of something even greater which you would call a discomfort maybe a pain even an illness a train wreck in other words all kinds of things begin to manifest but we want you to understand everything that manifests Everything that manifests in your life or anybody else's life that you are observing, everything that manifests is nothing more than, and we don't mean to diminish it because it's wonderful what's going on here, but nothing more than the indication of your vibrational countenance is an indicator. Manifestations are indicators of what you've been doing vibrationally, period. So if wonderful things are happening, You've got good indications of the good vibrations you've been offering. If things have been out of control in your life, then you've got manifestations that are indications of what you've been offering vibrationally. You don't go to your gas station when your gauge is on empty and lay your head on the steering wheel in utter despair. <laughs> oh, look what I've come to. I had hoped it would last longer. <laughs> I just couldn't keep it up. It's an indicator and you know, it's only an indicator. 
So you don't paste a happy face sticker over it because it's depressing to see it. And you don't usually wait until you're completely out of gas and stranded on the side of the road. You fill it up, don't you? You fill it up. And that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about letting your indicator let you know what your habit of thought has been. And if you're feeling pretty crummy lately, then it's time for a fill up. If things are sort of not going the way you want them to, it's time to tune up your thoughts. It's time to offer some more deliberate thought. It's time to seek a better attitude. It's time to become more cheerful. But again, we want to say to you, if you're depressed and someone's saying it's time to get more cheerful, we don't really mean it. If you're depressed, what we really want to say to you, it's time for revenge. And we mean that in the nicest way. <laughs> We want you to realize that it's like you take your rubber raft down to the river's edge and you as humans invariably will turn it upstream and start paddling very hard. And we say, if we were in your rubber raft, we would go with the current. We wouldn't fight the current. And you say, but we must be virtuous struggle and hard work. That's what we honor here. Those are the people for whom we make monuments and plaques and really big headstones. And we want you to understand that nothing that you want is upstream and that every bit of struggle and consternation and determination, all that I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to make it better. All of that has you focused upstream. We want you to feel the ease of letting go of the struggle. You don't even have to turn your boat around in the stream and begin paddling downstream. Just let go of the oars. The current will turn you. Jerry and Esther went whitewater rafting and as they approached the river's edge with the other several people that were with them, none of them even thought about paddling upstream. That river in Colorado was moving very fast and it was going that away and everybody knew that's the way they were all going. The river was going to take them no matter what they tried to do. There was nothing that they could do in that rubber raft that was going to keep them from going with the current. And that really is our message to you. The man who was guiding their raft said, friends, this is not Disneyland and we cannot turn this river off. And that's what we want to say to you. You cannot turn your stream off. It's going that way. It's going that way. Who you are, what you had planned, who you are as source energy, what you intended coming into this physical body, what life has caused you to ask for. You're moving, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving toward this ultimate never ending becoming. And when you don't let yourself go, the river beats you up. So this workshop really is not about teaching you to go with the stream because you have no choice. You are eternal beings and who you are has been set into motion for a very long time. This seminar is about asking the question and helping you answer it. Are you going willingly? Are you going toward your natural unfolding willingly? And every time you're mad at somebody, you're going, but you're not going willingly when you're loving. You're going and you're going willingly and you can feel the difference, can't you?